All right, so for percentiles, we didn't actually do a worksheet on this. Um, this will actually probably be an extra credit question. But when they talk about the 30th and 90th percentiles, they're trying to figure out like what, where in your data is 90% like uh, where 90% of your data is there or above, okay? Um, so what you've got to do is um, you have to have like an even number for these unless you're going to do some kind of crazy conversion, but we're not going to do that. If you have a set of 10, if you want to do the 90th percentile, you need to find the ninth part in your set of 10, okay? They all need to be in order. So what you've got to do is you have to put these uh, all in numerical order, and I do see 124 is the smallest, okay? And then uh, we'll cross it out. And 124, then I see a 145. And then a 167. Okay, and then a 216. Then I see a 238. And then I see a 259. Okay, then I see a 351. Then I've got a 385, then I've got a 420, then I've got a 463, okay? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So this guy right here is in the first percentile, the second, third, fourth, fifth percentile, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth percentile. And I shouldn't have said ninth. I should have said 90th. This is the 10th, 20th, 30th, 40th, 50th. Now, then imagine then that 50% of your data is this way, okay? So the 50th percentile is your fifth piece of data in a set of 10. So your 90th percentile is your ninth piece of data. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So the answer is 420, all right? Now, for this guy, this is going to be a little different because now we have a set of 20. So... If you want, oh, by the way, that's the 90th. If you want the 30th, that's that guy right there. So 167 is the 30th, 420 is the 90th. Here we would put all those in order. And instead of going to the 9th, since there's 20, you would go to the 18th in a set of 20, okay? Because 90%, 90% of 20 is 18. So you'd go to the 18th. You'd go to the 18th uh, value in the set. That would be the 90th. And for the 30th, you'd go to the 6th because the 30th percentile times 20 is the 6th value in the, in the in entire set. Okay, I'm not, I'm not going to do that one. All right, so now we're going to look for the outlier. Okay, and we've got two sets here. So let's identify the outlier. Identify the outlier each set of values, then describe how its value affects the mean of the data. Okay, so what you would do is you would figure out, um, first of all, you need to put all of your data in the, the list. So let's do that. So let's clear the list. Okay, so go edit. And we're going to go ahead and put 878. Uh, 762, 629, 590, 108, 924, 783, 595, 826, 1001. That kind of feels like an outlier. 674 and 522. All right. So, um, I feel like 1001 is an outlier. So let's go ahead and delete him, okay? And we delete him because we want to see if he actually is. Maybe this 108 is an outlier. Let's let's look into that too. Okay, maybe the 108 is as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and delete this, the 108, okay? And I'm going to do a stat calculate one variable stats and what I need is the interquartile range okay so q3 minus q1 and I need to multiply that by 1.5 okay so q3 minus q1 is 826 minus 595 okay 
So as it is right now, the mean is 718. Okay, so I'm just going to write that down because it did ask me to, descri to describe the effect. So 826 minus 595 is 223. Now I'm going to multiply that by 1.5, and I get 346.5. Okay. So this right here I'm going to add to Q3. Okay, and if I add it to Q3, which we said was 826, okay, if I add 346.5, it's 1,172. Does this make this guy an outlier? No, he is not an outlier. So we need to put him back in the data. He's not an outlier. If I were to go um, now to 595 and then subtract uh, 346.5 okay and that is 248 so it looks like that would be the lowest value and this 108 is actually too small he is smaller than 248 this guy's big enough but this guy's too small so our outlier is this guy okay so what we've got to do then is we have to go to our stat edit. We've got to include. We've got to include one thousand and one. Okay. And then we'll go ahead and include. Um, oops. Uh, we'll go ahead and include the one o eight. Let's include the one o eight. Let's get the mean. Okay. Now the mean is six seventy four. Okay. This guy's junk. Six seventy four with the outlier. And go back to stat edit. We're going to get rid of the 108. Going to get rid of the 108. And then calculate that outlier. And now we got 730.6. Okay. So the outlier has a quite, quite a large effect. We're not quite 100 points whatever this is, but it's uh, it does have a large effect. So the, the average without the outlier goes way up, okay? It goes up by 60, uh, a little less than 60, 50 some odd points, okay? All right, we're going to do the same process with this guy. So let's go ahead and second mem clear. Okay, let's run through this list here. I'm going to edit this. We've got 12, okay, kind of low. Let's see if that's the outlier. 48, 114, 88, 127, 106, 392. That feels a little large. Okay, so which one do you think is the outlier? Let's go... Um, I'm going to say that 392 might be, I, I suspect could be an outlier or 12 could be an outlier. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to eliminate them both. Okay, I'm going to eliminate them both. Okay, and let's go ahead and do the stat calculate. Okay, so now um, I have a Q3 of 201 minus uh, Q1, which is 97. Okay, and now I want to multiply that by 105 or 1.5. So that's 156. So I'm going to take this guy, 201, and add 156. And then I'm going to take 201 and subtract 156. So 201 plus 156 is 357. Okay, so this guy is check, a yes. And then uh, 201 minus 156, that's 45. So it looks like we have two outliers here. We've got a 12 and we've got the 392. Are there any other ones? Anything over 357? Nope. And anything less than 45? Nope. So he's right there at the border, but that's okay. 
So it looks like we got two outliers. So what we would do is we would then describe the effects of both of them in the data. When we went to stat edit, um, let's go ahead and find the mean here. So we got a mean of 139.4 with out the outliers. Now let's go ahead and put that data back in. And we're going to put in the 12 and the 329. Okay. And we'll do that again. And now we've got 150. So with the outliers, okay. Um, without the outliers, the average goes down by at least about a, a little over 11. Okay. All right, we'll do 1718 next.